a fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. His faithful Indian companion, Toto, the mask rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Faster, boy, faster. I will still The Big Hope claim finally proved to hold the richest gold deposit in the West. Jim Halsey, after years of discouraging effort, found himself in a position to repay the friends who had trusted him and give employment to everyone in Red Rock. It was a small but happy town and the story of the big hope spread far. Then came disaster in the form of the Jake Larson gang. It's Jake Larson's gang! Quite a hundred of them! Duck for cover! Out of my way! The Larson mob! Shoot anyone in recess! Look at him, skedaddle! <laughs> Nothing will stop us! Here's a lawman with a badge! Get him! You three take over the cafe. Let them know we're running the town. Right, come on, Red. Now you three see that there ain't no resistance at the general store. Right, right. We need supplies. Jeb, you and Lefty go to the mayor. Let him know Jake Larson is here to run the town. I'll see the sheriff. Now you two come with me. The rest of you watch the street. Get up there. Jake, there's a critter coming. Looks like he means trouble. Yeah. I'll fix it. <laughs> Oh, there, oh, boy. Watch the door. I'm seeing the sheriff. We'll watch, Jake. What's all this gunplay mean? See here, you. Who are you in those wild galoops? I don't care how good you feel. You can't come shoot Shut me. up. Get back inside your office. See here, you. I said shut up. Get in there, sheriff. I got to talk to you. White thunder, I... You listen. My name's Jake Larson. Jake Larson. Ah, heard of me and my army, huh? Well, we're here to help you, Sheriff. Help you our way. Help us? What do you mean? Yeah, we heard stories about savage Indians around here. Redskins had aimed to raid the town of Red Rock, so we aim to help you fight them. Savvy? No, don't know as I do. I heard that your gang... Never mind what you heard about my gang. We're taking this town over. You can stay here as a sheriff and follow my orders, or I'll put a man in your place. Yeah. Your orders? I got it all worked out. I'll see Jim Halsey and take over the mine. The people that work there can keep their jobs at half the pay. Take over the mine? Well, you can't... Listen to me. We'll run the store, but the owner can stay on and work there. I'll put my own men in the express office and the telegraph office. 
The postmaster can stay if he lets me see all the mail that comes or goes. You can't get away with that. No. It's robbery. You're a pack of thieving wolves. I won't take orders from you. Neither will any other self-respecting man in this town. You think Larson will have trouble with the sheriff? None that he can't handle. Larson's got a quick way of doing business. That seemed to come from the sheriff's office. Yeah, it did. Oh, there's Larson at the door. Hey, Lank. Yeah? Come in here. You're the new sheriff. Oh, Jim, I, I can't believe it. It's true, I tell you, Mary. Jake Larson has taken over the whole of Red Rock. The sheriff's shot and the Larson man's in his place. The mayor's buckled under and has taken orders. Hank's been thrown out of the post office and warned that his wife will be shot if he makes trouble. But, but what about the law? <laughs> Jake Larson's a law around here now. Jim Halsey, do you mean to say that in a free country like this, such things can happen? No word of what's happened gets out. Larson's had his plans all made. He's checking all the mail. He's got men on guard at all the trails out of town. He's put his own man in the telegraph office. Then, then what are we to do? We won't have to submit to such things, will we? Yeah, Larson has a lot of men. I don't know what... Jim. I expected this. Come on in, men. Search this house. See here, what's the idea? Just a precaution, Halsey. My name's Richie. We're here to take whatever guns and rifles you have. Also, your ammunition. Well, I'm hanging. Don't I'm... bluster. Others tried it. They're being buried. Oh, please don't ruin my house. You've got to search carefully. Can't take chances on a sniper's shot. Jake Larson doesn't want to get a slug in the back. <clears throat> Anything under this floor? No. No cellar? Oh, no, we got no cellar. Rip up a few boards and make sure. Well, you needn't wreck the place. I told Quiet, you. Quiet, Halsey. We're counting on a lot of help from you. That is, if you want to stay on and run your mine. So Jake Larson's gang can take all the gold? If you don't run it, someone else will. Our floor. Oh, Jim, look. Oh, Richie, what breed of polecats are you? Anything you don't under there, boys? No. Good. We don't let anyone get away with lies, Halsey. Remember that. Come on in, boss. We got all the firearms. Ornery oh, skunks. Well, this is about the nicest house we've seen. <laughs> You'd uh, like to keep it, wouldn't you, Halsey? You, Jake Larson. That's the name. From now on, I'm running the town. Anyone that tries to shoot one of my men gets shot. If he kills one of my men, his whole family gets shot along with him. That clear? How long do you think you can get away with this? Long enough. Don't try to leave town. Don't try to send for help. There'll be rules and laws posted before nightfall. <laughs> Those that disobey won't see sun up. That's all. Night fell on a stunned community. Those who ventured from their homes were accosted by a hard-faced guard and ordered back inside. The workers in the mine had nothing but a life of slavery to look forward to. There were feeble attempts at resistance, but these were quickly subdued by gunfire. Jim Halsey sat with his head bowed, hurt and angry at the sudden turn of events. But, Jim, there, there must be something that can be done. Men can't come in like those wolves and put a whole town into slavery. Yeah, I'm trying to think of something. Isn't there any way that word of what's happened can be got out of here? One of the boys tried to leave town. He was shot. Oh. Dan Blake's been horsewhipped till he can hardly stand for trying to send a message by the telegraph. They've thought of everything. And the boys that work the mine have been warned as to what'll happen if they stop working. They'll starve. And so will their families starve. Larson's gang has hold of the general store. And all of the weapons. <laughs> Starting tomorrow, everyone's supposed to turn in a report on the number of cows and chickens and things he owns. I suppose next they'll start taking them. But how can they get away with it? The gold has to be gotten out of here before they can use it. Well, Larson will have that figured out. He's got everything figured out. Oh. I'll see who it is. I reckon I already know. Ordinary people don't hammer on a door like that. Alzi. Oh, it's you again, Richie. Where is he? Where's who? Come on in, men. Search the house. Oh, right. I warn you, Halsey, if we find the fugitive hiding here shielded by you, it'll mean a plenty of trouble. There's no one hiding here. We don't know what you're talking about. You take that room, you take that one. Right. Now, look here, There Richie. was a stranger in the cafe. He refused to hand over his guns. He knocked three of our men down and got away. He seemed headed for this house. If he's here, you'd better say so. I didn't see anyone head... Nor I. Go ahead and search if you want. But get it finished and leave us alone. 
Well, maybe I'd better shut that door. The night air is... Leave it open, Jim. The house will need air and out after these critters leave. Here he is! Hey, what's that? The boy's outside got him. Come on! We're coming! You won't stop me. Oh, no, boy. He's got the strength of a dozen. Not so fast. Get him a silver. <laughs> Hold him. Get his gun. Where'd he come from? I'll drill the critter. Not this time. No. Go on, you fighting fool. Let him have him. Yahoo! Go to him, stranger. Get him. Get him. He shot my arm. What's the matter with you? Hang on to him. Get him. Look out for that horse. Get away from that horse or I fire. Not with that gun. Oh. Don't let him get away. Stop him. Right. Save yourself, stranger. Come on, Silver. Stop him. Well, find him, do you hear? It's a thousand dollars cash for the man that brings him to me, dead or alive. Jake, there's something about yeah, him. Yeah, what? I don't know if he was the same one that was in the cafe. It was dark. But I'm downright certain that when we fought him outside the Halsey house, he wore a mask. Sure he wore a mask. He rode a white horse. The white horse was named Silver. If he gets clean away, we can look for trouble. Why, that man's a lone ranger. <laughs> Lone Ranger, Mary. Foley gets clear away. Oh, but he can't, Jim. Larson has things too well organized around here. But if he does get away, there'll be hope for us. Maybe. There sure won't be no hope if he don't get away. Oh, who's over, oh boy, who? Oh. Looks like the trail ahead is blocked. All right, come on, Silver. You see if that tree just fell across the trail. More likely it was dropped there by Larson's men. That'll do. Stand right there. Oh, boy. Who? Oh. You covered, stranger? Make a fast move and I'll let you have it. You must be one of Larson's men. Well, if I am, you know better to take a chance on me. It's a lucky thing there are so few trails from Red Rock, isn't it? Keep your left hand high. Take off your gun belt with your right and let it fall. I've had a lot of arguments tonight. Every one of them started when men tried to take my guns away. Yeah? Well, this is one argument you won't win. Hey, is that a mask on your face? Come close enough to find out. I ask a question. Speak up or I will come close enough to find out. You'll be a dead duck at the time. That's it, Tuttle. Good work, Tuttle. I began to wonder if you'd been chased out of your perch in the tree. I may have to move from one tree to another. Keep high in branches. Where's Dan? Him back in camp. Beyond these outposts of Jake Larson? Huh. All right, then. We'll get there as fast as we can. Take this fellow along with us. And me put him in ropes. Get your horse. I'll attend to roping him. I can carry him in front of my saddle. Scout hidden a long way up on hillside. Then get him. I'll beat you in camp. An hour later, the masked man, Dan and Tonto, were grouped around a small fire hidden deep in the woods. The Lone Ranger told about the situation in town. Well, Jake Larson did all that we expected. More. And you were right when you thought there'd be trouble in Red Rock. Yes, Dan. But I didn't think there'd be so much trouble. That man had everything worked out to the smallest detail. He's put every man, woman, and child in town in bondage. And he has an army with him. Why, a bullet. Isn't there conscious now? Oh, he is, huh? Now listen, stranger, you... Keep your mouth shut. You'll hear what we say. Well, these ropes are too tight. They cut my wrist. Not nearly as much as a hangman's rope will cut into your neck. It's a good thing you learned about them posts and guards on all the trails leading from town. If I had known that before I went there, Dan. Belt might have gotten the first shot. I doubt that. But just the, the point same... is this. I don't know how a troop of cavalry can help. Then you're not going to let me go for the troopers? Oh, I don't know, Dan. Nothing less will have a chance of combating the Larson gang. Yeah, but don't on you... On the other hand, as soon as those men learn the troopers are coming to town, they'll make a shield of human beings. Troopers will have to shoot through the citizens to get the crooks. Only two, three trails to town. Yes, yes, I know it, Tonto. We got one trail without guards. One horse coming to town over that trail would be heard. What chance would the troopers have? Uh, me not know. Oh, golly, we can't lick the whole gang up alone. Or can we? No, Dan, we can't. Well, we might try. No, I'm going to use other means. Dan, I'm going to write out some orders for you. Read them very carefully. Sure, I will. Everything may depend upon how well you study your instructions. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. Ten minutes have elapsed since the last scene. The Lone Ranger has prepared a message for Dan Reed and a second message for Dan to deliver. The first tells Dan to hurry to an army post. The second informs the commandant of the situation in Red Rock. There you are, Dan. Take this with you. Yes, sir. I've got Victor all saddled and ready to travel. Travel east. You can study the message while you ride. All right. Good luck to you, fella. <clears throat> Thanks. Come on, Victor. Dan, plenty good rider now. Yes, Toto. It's a good thing he is. He has a long trip ahead of him. I don't want him to face the dangers in Red Rock. Dangers? Yes. They're planned underway. I talked to some of the men before I left town. If you think that kid can bring the troopers... I'm not asking you, Brelt. If troopers come, there'll be the biggest wholesale massacre you ever saw. That's what I want to avoid. Yeah, now, look here, mister. You let me go and I'll forget all about how you captured me. I don't care whether you forget about it or not. Well, send in that kid for Brelt. troopers... Doesn't it occur to you that I want to avoid bloodshed? Then why do you... you think I'd have Dan bring troopers that would result in the death of a lot of people? There are other plans. After they're completed, you'll understand. The law will tell you what happened after you're in custody. Then you just sent the kid away so he wouldn't be facing gunfire. Eh? What do you think? Come on, Tonto. We've got to leave here. Uh -huh. uh, wait. You can't leave me tied here why like not? this. Why not? Well, I'll starve. Not before someone comes to get you. Well, wild animals. I don't think there are any that will bother oh, you. Oh, wait, listen to me. Here, Silver. Well, at least leave one hand free. Leave one of the horses here. You'll stay as you are. Steady, big fella. Ready, Kimosabe? Uh, be ready. Come on, Silver. Get him up. Come. Ranger and Tonto rode slowly through the night. The Lone Ranger, knowing the perils of his plan, put on a disguise beneath his mask and put a secret gun in a shoulder holster beneath his vest. Meanwhile, Larson's guard, Brout, struggled against the ropes. As the fire died to smoldering embers, he squirmed his way nearer and held these ropes against a hot coal. Then he was free. He rubbed his wrist, then stood, and a cunning light came into his eyes. Larson will pay me handsome for what I can tell him. Brout started toward Red Rock on foot. It was well past noon when he arrived at the sheriff's office, which served Jake Larson as a headquarters. Brout, what are you doing here? What's happened to you? You look like you had plenty of trouble. Never mind making comments on how I look. Larson and I had to hike from way beyond our post. Hike? Yeah. Been a lot longer if I hadn't taken shortcuts. Well, a man on foot can make almost as good time as on horseback. Horse can't cross some of the places a man can I know go. all that. What about your post? Aren't you guarding it? Yeah, no need. And you'll agree after you hear what I got to tell. Last night, a masked man tried to get by me. The Lone Ranger. Did you get him? There's a thousand dollars for you if you did. He got me. He had a redskin helping him. The critter was hitting the tree and he jumped me. Why, you fool, you. Why didn't you well, keep... no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Jake, when you hear what I got to say, you'll be doggone glad he did capture me. I learned some of his plans. Plans for what? For getting you, getting all of us. Came back to town. What? You mean he's here in Red Rock? Well, I'll bet he is. He's got an uprising all set to go about sundown. Oh, he has, huh? Who sent it with him? Name him and we'll make examples of him. Wonder how many more we'll have to drill before the stubborn fool savvy that we're giving the orders. Well, I don't know all of his scheme, Jake, but I know one thing. His partner's a big redskin. Is he in town, too? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised they'd be together. Oh, I see. If they're in town, we'll find him. This lone ranger probably won't be wearing the mask now. Or the same clothes. Oh, but we got to keep... Me come look for boss of town. Hey, there he is. Grab him, Richie. Yes, Tonto. Stand where you are. Hey, now we got you. Take his weapon. Oh, you bet I will. I got plenty to settle with you. How you get free? Well, maybe you ain't so smart. You forgot that red hot coals will burn a rope. Oh. Yeah, a knife, huh? The law for packing weapons is that you die. Me no. Well, maybe you got something to tell us. Where's your partner? Who you mean? You know blame well who we mean. That critter that wore the mask. Where are you and that hombre hiding out? Me not talk. Hello. It's a masked man. Get him. Here you bet. Get the... yeah, that's a ticket. Now you're covered. Otto. Me want to go away. Not come here. Now you prisoner too. It looks that way. Well, so you're the one that's made so much trouble. Rope me, huh? Knock my men around like they was nine pins. Let's see you use those fists now. Or those shoot nines. Hey, where's your guns? There's a law against them in town, isn't there? Yeah. Take off that mask. Let's see what you look like. You take it off. Don't go close, Jake. You grab your guns. He's lightning. Well, what are your plans? 
For you, mister, we got plenty of them. This is a fine chance to drill you for keeps. Yeah, Jake, shoot him and be done now with Now, wait him. a minute. Maybe he's worth more to us alive at the present. He's got information we need. He wouldn't let a peep out of him to save his own life, but he'll talk plenty to save the lives of others. Get some of the men and bring in the first ten people you see. Townsmen, bring him into the outside room. And line him up against the wall. <laughs> We want you. But what have I done? Come on, save your breath. The boss wants you. Come on, Mrs. Halsey. We're taking you to Jake Larson. But I've obeyed you. We don't have any weapons here. Come on, save your breath. We'll get your husband at the tunnel. Get along, Halsey. You too, both of you. Now, see here, if you want this tunnel to be worked... Get work going. Plenty of time to work the mine. Line up there against the wall. Now, look here, Larson. Shut up. We... You men draw your guns and hold them steady. Right. Just give the word. Jim. Oh, Jim, they can't shoot us down like this. Well, that's up to a critter that tried to help you. Bring him out, Brel. Come on out here and see what's waiting for you. Doesn't seem possible that anyone could be as ruthless as you are. No. We don't know that, man. Don't matter whether you know him or not. We're all going to face a firing squad if he don't talk. I know you're not bluffing, Jake. Oh, you bet I ain't. You ready, boys? Uh, what uh, What do you want me to tell? I already heard part of it. Tell the rest. Just what are the men in the mine scheming to do at sunset? I, I can't tell you that. Well, there's no scheme at all. We've all tried to follow your orders, Larson. We got no choice. What's the scheme? Speak up fast or I'll give the word to fire. Larson, tell those men to lower their guns and... I'll talk. Hmm. All right, lower them, boys, but be ready. Yeah. Now talk. The men would sooner be out of work. They'd sooner be dead than see you get away with all their gold. Go on. Somewhere in that tunnel, there'll be blasts. There are charges of powder buried in there. I see. I don't know where. Probably not more than one or two of the men will know where it is. They'll be the ones to fire the blast. So that's it. The blast in the right place will seal the tunnel. Cave it in. So it will take months to excavate and get back to the mother load. Oh, so that's it, huh? Well, the ones that planted that blast will die. Now look here, Larson. You found a way to beat any decent man. Wholesale murder. No man can defy you if by doing so he's responsible for the death of innocent people. <laughs> You're dagnab right I got the way to beat you. I, uh, I can see why Halsey and the others have bowed to your will. Huh. So now the Lone Ranger's doing the same, huh? I don't want more people to die. Well, then name the ones that set the blast. We'll make them show us where it is. I can't name them. I don't know them. Where is the blast? I don't know that. Well, then we'll find it. You'll have to question every man in the tunnel to find the one that set it. Yeah. And if we send a handful of men to the tunnel, they'll be overpowered. Shovels and picks are as good as shooting irons in a place like that. Well, if you make all the men stay in the tunnel while you search, you'll be sure the blast won't be fired. That's it. Richie, you tell the boys to round up all the others and take them to the tunnel. We'll search every inch of the place till we find the place where the powder's buried. And if some critter fires a blast while we're in there... <laughs> He'll kill all his friends as well as that. Almost every man in Larson's outlaw army went into the tunnel. Some guarded the miners while others questioned them. Still others went over the walls and floors of the tunnel inch by inch, searching for blasting powder fused and ready to fire. Here's one blast. That's a harmless one, one that's set in a regular routine. You can see for yourself that a blast there would do no damage. Yeah, he's right. Stay close to me, Carl. Uh -huh. Need to do it. The search went on with many threats from Jake Larson. Outside the tunnel, the town was practically deserted. But two or three of Larson's men had been left outside. One of these came up on the run. Larson! Larson! Jake! What's the matter with you? 
Get out of here fast. It's troopers. What? Soldiers, cavalry. They're coming down into the town on the dead run. Hey, the troopers. Now, Tuttle, me do it. We're taking over. Give me that gun. Hey. Get back there. Pass the word back that the cavalry's in town. Notice, Larson, that your men are trapped in this tunnel. You were careful to stay between the miners and the entrance. Now you're between the miners and the troopers. I'll kill you. Stay back. I'll fix you. You too, Brelt. You see, Dan brought the cavalry. Our job was to put you crooks where you couldn't use the townspeople for a shield. Yo, we done it! You mean it was all framed for you to let me capture you? Uh, we should have drilled you when we had the chance. You tried it, Jake. This gun would have been used. What's a, a shoulder holster? They're here! Take over, Captain! Watch out of there with your hands high! You have three seconds to come out, and then we pour lead into that tunnel. We're coming! One hundred crooks all captured. Thanks to you, lad, and your fine riding. Uh, I was the Lone Ranger. It was Larson himself. He let his own men into a trap. Uh, you'll pay for this. I'll pay every dime I got to the man that gets a Lone Ranger. Larson, the Lone Ranger will be riding long after you've hanged by the neck till dead. I'm silver! Away! <laughs> you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.